When Boston Dynamics unveiled the fully electric Atlas in mid-2025, the tech world quickly hailed it as a robotic industrial breakthrough. The robot can maintain balance on 20-degree slopes, execute motions twice as fast as the previous version, and now even operate inside Hyundai's factory. Yet behind these impressive numbers lie three major obstacles, battery endurance, precision performance, and production cost. What will it take for Atlas to overcome these barriers and become truly useful on real production lines? Before we begin, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. It would be a huge motivation for us to keep bringing you amazing episodes about Tesla Optimus, humanoid robots, and all the latest AI and EV innovations from Elon Musk. How does the new electric design make Atlas move more flexibly? The Boston Dynamics Atlas 2025 marks the company's first complete removal of hydraulic cylinders, shifting entirely to a fully electric design. This represents the most significant engineering change since Atlas was first introduced in 2013. Eliminating the hydraulic system makes Atlas about 25% lighter, reduces noise, improves joint response speed, and enables more precise motion control. The newly developed in-house electric motors feature higher energy density and can generate twice the torque of the 2023 version, allowing the robot to rotate its wrists, bend, or jump with much greater control. Boston Dynamics has stated that the new version can perform athletic-level movements, such as executing a 360-degree spin mid-jump or picking up a heavy object from the floor and instantly changing direction. This is made possible by the high-power density actuators, a high-efficiency drive system paired with force feedback sensors built into each joint. Data from IMU and LiDAR sensors helps Atlas maintain balance even when pushed or walking on uneven surfaces. In internal tests published in May 2025, Atlas was able to remain stable on surfaces tilted up to 20 degrees, double what the 2021 version achieved. However, despite its superior mobility, Atlas still cannot be considered a commercially viable solution. A key limitation is power supply. The robot operates for only about one hour before requiring a recharge. While industrial robots like Tesla's Optimus are designed to run for over eight hours, powered by a 2.3 kilowatt hour EV style battery pack, Boston Dynamics has not disclosed Atlas's exact battery capacity, but experts estimate it to be under one kilowatt hour, prioritizing lightweight design and agility over endurance. This makes Atlas suitable mainly for lab testing, not for heavy or continuous industrial work. Another challenge lies in production cost optimization. According to robotics experts at MIT, the cost to produce one Atlas unit could exceed $150,000. Since all motors, sensors, and components are custom-built with no automated mass production, in contrast, Tesla's Optimus aims for a cost below $20,000 per robot once full-scale manufacturing begins at Gigafactory Texas, enabling deployment of tens of thousands of units. With its limited production capacity, Boston Dynamics cannot yet compete on this economic level. In terms of interaction capability, Atlas 2025 features a modular hand system that allows different attachments for various tasks, from grasping small objects to holding industrial tools. However, its precision and adaptability still fall short compared to robots equipped with deep learning vision systems, such as Figure 03 or Optimus Generation 3. Atlas relies primarily on mechanical feedback sensors, rather than perceptual vision, limiting its ability to recognize complex objects or automatically adjust grip force. Austin Dynamics has also announced that the new Atlas is intended for practical industrial applications, such as lifting boxes, stacking pallets, and operating in manufacturing settings. Yet, in all demonstration videos, the robot performs pre-programmed motion sequences rather than autonomously adapting to unexpected scenarios. Meanwhile, AI navigation systems from companies like Figure and Tesla are approaching the ability to think and act in unstructured environments. Notably, Boston Dynamics is reportedly working toward a next-generation Atlas that could operate directly on Hyundai's assembly lines, Hyundai being the company's parent firm. The goal is to create a robot that can function as flexibly as a human within factory environments. However, to achieve this, Boston Dynamics must overcome three critical barriers. Battery life, production cost, and autonomous perception. Once again, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. How does Atlas's AI differ from Tesla Optimus's AI system? The Atlas 2025 version is described by Boston Dynamics as intelligent and autonomous, but in reality, the robot's AI system still relies mainly on pre-programmed motion rather than learning actions from data or human demonstrations. 
In the official video released in April 2025, movements such as torso rotation, tool handling, or object handover were all performed in a fully controlled environment. This shows that Atlas still lacks the ability to analyze situations independently, recognize new objects, or adapt to unfamiliar environments, all of which are fundamental capabilities of practical AI. Boston Dynamics engineers have admitted that they continue to use a control-based programming system, meaning every complex motion is modeled using dynamic algorithms combined with sensor feedback to ensure balance. While this allows the robot to move with exceptional precision and safety, it makes learning new skills slow and costly. By contrast, competitors like Figure AI and Tesla Optimus have already deployed models that learn from real-world video data and human demonstrations. For instance, Figure 03 can imitate human actions after just a few minutes of observation thanks to its Helix AI platform, which applies simulation to reality transfer techniques. Tesla has gone even further by integrating its full self-driving FSD chip into Optimus, enabling the robot to understand spatial context and learn new skills using data gathered from billions of kilometers driven by Tesla vehicles. This allows Optimus to optimize its hand movements, avoid obstacles, and learn repetitive tasks in factory environments without manual programming. In comparison, Atlas remains more of a mechanically intelligent robot rather than a truly self-learning system. Boston Dynamics is also experimenting with a deep learning-based visual recognition system, but its current implementation is limited. Atlas can only identify the position and shape of objects in the 3D space without understanding their semantic meaning. For example, the robot might recognize this is a box, but it cannot infer that the box contains fragile items and must be handled carefully. This limits its usability in complex settings, such as logistics, electronics assembly, or human care environments. Another key limitation is that Atlas is not connected to a centralized cloud AI network like Tesla or figure robots. Each Atlas unit operates independently and does not share learning data across devices. This makes the training process slower and improvements to its intelligence must be done manually through software updates. Tesla, by contrast, allows all Optimus robots to sync with a centralized server, where the AI model is continuously updated using data collected from thousands of other robots, similar to how Tesla's self-driving cars learn collectively. A further drawback lies in real-time AI responsiveness. During human-robot interaction tests, Atlas 2025 showed significant latency compared to competitors. According to an analysis by the Cambridge Institute of Robotics, June 20 to 25, Atlas exhibited an average sensor to action delay of 120 milliseconds, while Optimus Gen 3 achieved less than 60 milliseconds thanks to its integrated hardware level AI processing. This latency can cause Atlas to react awkwardly in fast changing situations, such as when a nearby person moves unexpectedly. While Boston Dynamics has long been a leader in robot motion mechanics, the company still lacks the infrastructure for large-scale cognitive AI development. Experts note that Boston Dynamics does not possess a massive behavioral dataset like Tesla, which collects data from over 6 million active vehicles worldwide, or like Figure AI, which collaborates with OpenAI to train behavior models. This makes it difficult for Atlas to achieve task self-awareness, a crucial step toward becoming a commercial labor robot. On a positive note, Boston Dynamics is now working with Hyundai to develop the Atlas Lab platform, which integrates physics-based simulation with reinforcement learning. This project aims to teach Atlas how to handle complex objects without manually simulating each movement. However, current reports indicate that this initiative is still in the research phase and has yet to produce a deployable commercial product. Why can't Atlas run continuously on an industrial production line? In mid-2025, Boston Dynamics announced that it was testing the fully electric version of Atlas on Hyundai Motors production lines, focusing on tasks such as lifting, sorting, and transporting automotive components. This marked a major step forward, as previous Atlas models had been used mainly for research and technical demonstrations. However, early real-world trials have already revealed clear limitations when deploying the robot in continuous industrial environments. First, Atlas was not designed for 24-7 operation. Boston Dynamics admitted that the robot can operate for only about 45 to 60 minutes per charge, with a charging time of over one hour. In contrast, industrial robots developed by Tesla or Figure AI are targeting 8 to 10 hours of continuous operation, thanks to larger batteries and automatic battery swapping systems. 
In factory settings, where uptime and production continuity are critical, this limitation represents a major operational drawback. Second, Atlas still lacks the precision and repeatability required for mass production tasks. Test videos released by Hyundai show that Atlas can lift components weighing around 15 to 20 kilograms, but its movements are relatively slow and sometimes inconsistent when repeating the same action multiple times. This stems from the fact that Atlas is optimized for agility and mobility, not for mechanical precision like traditional industrial arms from KUKA, ABB, or FANUC. As a result, Atlas is better suited for temporary support roles, such as moving or sorting objects, rather than performing fine assembly or high accuracy component handling. Third, safety and human compatibility remain major challenges. Industrial robots must meet ISO 10218 and ISO T S 15066 safety certifications to operate alongside humans. Given Atlas's high speed and power, it requires an extremely advanced collision control system to prevent accidents. Although Boston Dynamics has equipped the robot with LiDAR sensors and full-body force sensors, its response latency of 120 to 150 milliseconds still poses risks when detecting sudden obstacles, for example, a human unexpectedly walking across its path. For this reason, current tests are conducted only in restricted zones with no human workers nearby. Fourth, cost is the biggest barrier preventing Atlas from being widely adopted in industrial production. The estimated price per unit is over $150,000, excluding training, programming, and maintenance costs. Meanwhile, Tesla Optimus, according to Elon Musk, is targeted to cost under $20,000, making it affordable enough for mass deployment on production lines. This price gap means Atlas lacks economic viability, especially since factories often require hundreds of robots to achieve full efficiency. In addition, Atlas currently cannot integrate directly with factory manufacturing execution systems MES or line coordination software used by automakers. Companies like Hyundai and Toyota rely on ERP integrated robots that can exchange real-time production data for process optimization. Atlas, however, still operates in a semi-automatic mode, requiring human supervision or intermediate control systems. This prevents it from fully replacing human labor in industrial workflows. However, Boston Dynamics stated that its current goal is not immediate commercialization, but rather to collect industrial motion and manipulation data to train future Atlas generations. The company is developing an industrial motion dataset, allowing the robot to learn from thousands of hours of real worker activity, similar to how Tesla trains Optimus using video data. This is a promising direction, but experts estimate it will take at least two to three more years before Atlas can operate fully autonomously in real factory environments. We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.